make sure you grab different color of spray paints, different size thread edges, and everyday household items like cups or lids. My name is Arturo Lopez, and I created Spray Castle Studios back in 1999. I have then continued to show people diverse ways of creating master paintings in just a few minutes using nothing more than just spray paints and everyday household items. The beauty of this art is that you don't have to have a steady hand or know how to draw. All that requires is a little bit of imagination and some dedication. So join us and you too can become a Spray Castle Master. I will walk you through diverse techniques of creating beginner level paintings, intermediate level paintings and techniques, advanced level paintings, and will take your skills even further to master level paintings. So if you guys are ready to embark into a new art adventure, then grab your spray paints and materials, let's get started. Hey crew, Arturo Spercaso here. So today we're gonna do a space cloud. It's a little bit different than a space nebula. Space nebula doesn't have a tr as much detail. So, all right, so it's gonna be a new, right? I've done similar space clouds before, but not one with so much intricate detail. So for this effect, we're gonna use a terrain technique. Now, for those of you guys who doesn't know what that is, you need to watch my videos, dang damn it. <laughs> no, but seriously. Go watch them. All right, we're gonna begin by placing down our bright colors. So we're gonna begin with some yellow. Uh, perhaps we're gonna move up, maybe do a little transition from yellow to orange. Then let's move into red. So you want your bright colors to go underneath. Now you could always do a reverse transition, right? So do a little bit of yellow, or you could have done an orange and then go back to yellow. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna add a little bit of brown here. Now this is the Spray Castle can, it's just that it didn't get here with the label. Uh, it's okay. Remember guys, try not to mix brands, which is why I ordered the can and not went to the store and bought one. Usually when you uh, start mixing paints, you don't you get this crackling effect or bubbling. So try not to do that, stick with one brand guys. Okay, well, I'm just gonna add a little bit of blue here just to kinda create the the mist technique or the nebula technique. In this case it'll be the nebula technique because we're mixing it. It's not just one solid color, we're mixing it with uh, yellow and red and just kind of blending it in to get space-like colors, right? Now using the neutral color, in this case black, we're gonna go ahead and cover this up. Now most of you might say, or some of you, not most, not most, what is a neutral color? Okay, a neutral color is black or white. Now it has to be gloss, guys, not matte. Don't ever use matted colors. Um, you it, it just don't work very well with this with the techniques that we use, the spray castle techniques. Uh, and usually, what a, a neutral color does is that you it allows you to add other colors on top, kind of like what I'm doing here. This is going to be our background. So we work a little bit in reverse here. Uh, we we think of the colors that that are either planet or terrain or in this case the space clouds are gonna be and then we think about everything else right so I here I'm using a magazine sheet and I'm just removing the top layer colors the backgrounds the blue the red I went ahead and added my stars already okay so See what I did there? I placed the magazine sheet and then I smeared it. I didn't just kind of remove, I smeared it upwards and then removed the paint. Now the picture that I said that this was going to be similar to uh, can be found on Facebook on the Spray Castle Studios page. Uh, I believe me guys, I tried to get as close as possible but at the same time as far as possible to where yeah, you don't run into copyright infringement or you know anything like that. So of course colors change, technique changes a, a, a bit and I recommend you guys do that as well if you guys are copying somebody else's painting or something like that something to keep in mind and it's just a matter of being respectful towards the other artist alright so as you can see I went ahead and I added a little bit of yellow and red uh, with a little bit of blue surrounding the the space cloud and that's just to give it the effect that it's in the back layer now this makes it an intermediate level technique because now you're thinking of transparency and different layers. These are very simple techniques that you can use 
to make your painting more advanced. Uh, you can also add more layers by subtracting more colors, right? Anytime you add a layer that overlaps an existing layer, makes your painting gives your painting not only more depth, but it makes it more complex. Here, I'll give you an example. I'll remove a layer right here on the bottom. You guys see on the on the bottom left, you can see that little transparent cloud. Now I've just removed the layer, and look at that. You see this top layer being more vibrant than the one beneath. That's depth. So you're able to create some very realistic effects on your painting. Here, we're going to go ahead and create a light source. Just a little light burst here in the background. I'm using a straight edge. Remember, you don't want to aim directly onto your painting. You want to add aim at your straight edge and then just let it bounce off the straight edge onto your painting. A couple more bursts here. You can also go back and just add a little bit more stars or make the star brighter. You guys remember how to do this? Aim your can 45 degrees away from your from your painting and just let it sputter onto your paint. Nice. Alright. So see you just added several more, more layers. Here I'm just going to use a little bit of clear coat, make the painting glossy and it gives it a really nice thick protective layer and it's clear so it'll protect your painting. This tutorial uh, was actually it was you guys' idea, it was a really nice idea because it shows you how to create a different effect using some techniques that you guys probably didn't uh, think to use to creating this effect. So let's take a closer look at our painting and I hope you guys have enjoyed today's tutorial. Until next time folks. Wait, rewind. Alright, I tell you what. I really like the way this tutorial came out, but let's do one more thing. I'd like to show you guys, I'm just gonna add a little more clear coat here, how to turn this technique, which as you guys can see can be used as a cloud, terrain, let's make it into mountains using the spray castle tool here and with the edge I'm just gonna define the mountain itself I'm gonna add some more highlights now unlike the scratch highlight technique which I really don't like I'm not really scratching as much as I am combining the paints see that and the lighter you use the tool the more combination you get only push down on certain areas where you want the highlights to really stand out. See, but it is not completely white. Okay, now you guys have probably seen me um, use a little cloth, a little piece of newspaper, so I'm here on the side where I'm cleaning the tool. Uh, these paints are thick. Well, they're thicker than the ones I, I usually use. And as, as thick as they are, they they're starting to dry rather quickly so I have to constantly clean the tool but take a look at that see how easy it is to create mountains guys so you guys can create something like this in the background of one of your paintings and use the spray castle tool go over it a little bit don't use a palette knife guys I, I know there's some sort of a trend or something out there where people are using palette knives uh, they'll create certain effects okay but you won't be able to create this effect. This effect will also come in handy if you're creating uh, perhaps some lava and you want some really sharp rocks or something. Or you can create some mountains in the background. See? Let's zoom out. Let's take a look at what this painting looks like now. So now you've turned it into a completely different painting. Look at that. It just looks like a flying space rock. I really like this. So I hope you guys have learned some new techniques, how to manipulate the paints better, and I hope you also noticed that I used the Spray Castle tool a little bit more to use this technique. Well folks, I hope you guys have liked today's tutorial. Until next time.